Hey guys, today I'm going to create a little lesson on dialogue and how to improve yours. So I'm a professional author of novels, manga, webtoons, and video games. And I've been writing dialogue for a little bit over half of my entire existence as a human being. <laughs> I'm 25, so it's actually a pretty long time. And today I'm going to be going over stilted dialogue and how to avoid it. So make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more writing content um, with regards to manga, webtoons, and novels and video games. So when I say stilted dialogue, what is it? Basically when uh, dialogue feels very unnatural or weird. So usually you see stilted dialogue like when you're reading it and you cringe it. You're kind of like, why did they say it like that? Like it happens a lot in movies when, when people speak it out loud. Uh, it happens in novels. Um, it happens for any form of dialogue where you're kind of just cringing. And you're like, oh, that's, that was gross. Why did they say that? So it usually happens when the writer is trying too hard. And as a result of that, it feels very unnatural. Sometimes you might be inserting too much info dumping in the dialogue, or it's too formal, or you don't have the character's right voice. It's not being conveyed in the right way. And ultimately, that's something that you develop through your character. Someone who's reading your work should technically be able to understand who's talking, even if there's no real dialogue tag, just because of the voice and personality that you've built through that character. So today we're gonna to be doing a little exercise. We're gonna be looking um, at some dialogue. I'm going to create a stilted version of the dialogue and then we're going to work on it together and revamp it into something that's less stilted and hopefully uh, decent dialogue, just a better version. So we're gonna be writing uh, the dialogue today in Dorian, which is our sponsor for this video. Dorian is a writing platform for visual novel narrative games. You can have narration, you can have dialogue, you can create games, make money from them, and also play games for free. I have a few projects on there myself, such as Blue Spark and Red Spark. Check those out. Blue Spark is a narrative game, and Red Spark is a meme game, so something that you, like Grand Theft Auto for Atome games, pretty much. Uh, you can check out the link in the description, or if you wanna learn more about um, um, creating those types of games you can check out the playlist so I'm going to show some dialogue here and we're gonna read through it together so this is the stilted version that is incorrect Bob I have to do my homework and our father said that I must do that before I am able to go home to our football game that is stilted AF oh my god so cringe so let's talk about what's wrong with that dialogue that I just read to you number one you're cringing I'm cringing that probably means that it feels very unnatural to hear that type of dialogue out loud two there's a lot of forced info dumping and it doesn't feel Feel natural right sure like saying our father like I don't know who talks like that anymore it helps us understand that the character is talking to their brother but like and then number three uh, whoever is saying this and writing it uh, the character sounds like a robot so let's change it up to make it feel more natural so here I made a little adjustment I said no Bob dad said I gotta finish my homework if I want to go to the football game later so let's let's talk through this right it's simpler the sentence is a lot simpler than before you can tell that they're siblings the character said dad which is a less formal way of saying our father like uh <laughs> feel like i'm kid going to church the character is probably a teenager you know they're using some slang so you can also tell that they're not like in a fantasy world or what time zone time zone time period they're in and the dialogue as a whole feels more concise and it feels more natural that's important so here's another example of still the dialogue that was the first example this is the second one thank you for noticing alex i am feeling a lot better I do not feel as sick as I did yesterday. Not too bad, but still, what a robot. If anyone spoke to me like that in real life, I'd be like, you're not a human being, you're an alien. So I rewrote it real quick. Hey Alex, thanks. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. Yesterday was rough. You can add like why yesterday was rough through like some additional dialogue, like, oh, I threw up or whatever. But even this sentence adjustment feels a lot more natural, right? It's less words, it's more concise, seems more human. Like that's the best way to put it. It's not stilted, it's uh, more human. And so Dorian is actually a really cool platform to work on your dialogue because as you're writing the dialogue, you can see like the character that you have, like kind of align with that um, dialogue. And also you can see their expression, right? Here's an example. And you can basically see like, is the dialogue aligned with how this character looking and sometimes seeing it visually like for me helps to think of like hey would that character say this out loud like that <laughs> so still the dialogue is honestly the signs of a beginner writer and the sooner you identify where your dialogue might be stilted the sooner you can start tackling it in the editing phase 
and make sure that all the dialogue that you have for going forward is not so stilted, right? So if there's any takeaways from this video, um, I want you to make sure that one, uh, one conciseness is something that you're really striving for in your dialogue. I think that also reading your dialogue out loud can really, really help you decide like, hey, does that feel like kind of awkward um, as dialogue? That and also just having someone read your work and just like tell you, hey, Brandon, that's stilted. Sounds kind of awkward. That also helps too. Anyway, hopefully this was helpful. If you're interested in creating narrative visual novel games, check out Dorian, link in my description. You can also play some games there for fun like Blue and Red Spark. Make sure to like and subscribe and here's an exercise for you guys in the comments. Maybe leave um, some stilted dialogue that you had written and then also how you adjusted it after watching this video. I'd really be curious on like how you guys have improved. Thanks again and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Dorian is free for creators, uh, particularly writers and uh, artists, and everyone can start making money from the very first day that you start. You don't need a large following to make money like you do on other platforms, so uh, it's a really great place for a lot of new writers and artists to get started. Check it out, link in the description.